How can I help you? Okay, we were, we had this idea for seniors and for them to, like, a reminder for them to take their pills on certain days at certain times. We came up with this idea to have, like, an, almost an automatic pill case. So every day of the week it, like, opens automatically. And we're going around to the different places to see if they would have the technology to make it and how different ways how it would be, like, powered and how it could work. With something like that, you could probably start by prototyping using tools like a Raspberry Pi, our Arduinos, some like robotics kits almost. I'm Jeremy McCurdy. I'm the game development manager at Red Space. So I'm responsible for a team of developers and artists to create different types of games for various media clients like Nickelodeon, Sesame Street, Cartoon Network. Right now, the, the teams are given some different uh, real world problems they, they need to solve. And they're coming to each table looking for technical experts to help them with their problem. Like, would you also be able to like, make it weighted so it knows how many pills or like something are still in it? or an app that their family can download so they can make sure that they're keep, like keeping track of taking their medication. So the cool thing about Raspberry Pi and Arduino is that they have these little kits with uh, different types of sensors that you can buy. The one thing I've been trying to get across to a lot of the students is communication. The technical skills are really important, but the ability to actually talk and communicate is, is essential when you're talking in technology. Uh, we operate in team environments, so being able to get your ideas across is really important. Thank you. No problem. It, it's kind of crazy. They're, they're coming along really fast. Like the, these kids are very smart. They're they're very enthusiastic. Skills that we're learning through the program is like how to use different computer languages. Um, definitely some more team building and problem solving skills. Like taking videos and like designing websites and all that, and also creating a project with other people that I don't even know. So yeah. Going into this, I thought we just, it was like IBM and like coming here, like I see like how much more companies there are and how much more opportunities and how much different paths there are within the technology field. IBM's part is as an industry partner where we uh, provide uh, mentorship, we provide input into uh, curriculum, we'll work closely with the students in the classroom and in the future we will offer the paid internships as well as first in line job opportunities. So we see this as a way to really uh, contribute to the workforce of the future. I want to be like a cybersecurity analyst. <laughs> I was, went over to Cove and I was really interested in the technology that they were using to map the bottom of the ocean floor. Maybe a career in web design, that's what I'm interested in. Something with coding or robots it seemed really cool. I'm seeming to really enjoy the program. Code breaking, so finding the errors in codes, finding the bugs. Computer programming and website building. It wasn't my first idea to be involved in the world of IT. I originally wanted to be involved in family medicine or a medicine practice of some kind, but I saw this as a great opportunity to learn more about technology. I could implement the skills I've learned at the TAP to help in family medicine or medicine practice in general. I think these kids are crazy smart. It's, it's really impressive. Uh, everyone's really engaged. They don't have any hesitation to popping in and trying something new. I'm really excited about the program. Before I was in the TAP program, we did use technology, but not in the same way that we use it now, how to use our technology to our advantage. Very excited. I feel like this program could take me a long way.